Hey everybody, my name's Drew Hitt and I'm a cinematographer from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. In today's review video, we're diving into my detailed hyper review of the Makey 24mm T2.1 full frame Cine Prime lens. Makey is known in the industry for its affordable full frame Cine Prime lenses, which for their price and size have changed the game for filmmakers wanting to use high end glass without the high end price tag. In this hyper review video, we're going to do a deep dive into the features, lens characteristics, bokeh, lens flares, and build quality. Lens characteristics. Similar to the rest of the cine lenses in this series, the Makey 24mm produces an overall vintage look without the vintage softness. It's super sharp wide open at T2.1, but isn't clinically sharp like photo lenses. This 24mm lens produces wide angle images on full frame cameras and features a 45mm image circle with a T2.1 to T22 iris range. In these daylight examples with the Talon, I was shooting at T2.4 with an ND64 filter and you can see nice object separation and soft, creamy, natural looking bokeh. It produces natural skin tones without any warm or cold color cast in the mid-tones. In this low light example, I was shooting wide open at T2.1 during a thunderstorm that had just blown by. I was able to get some wild shots of the heat lightning in the background and you can see the lens produces an incredibly sharp image. You can see how sharp the focus is if you look below the car on the wet concrete. I love this quote from cinematographer Mark Toya. Camera sensors do not make images sharp. If you want a sharp image, you use sharp lenses. If you want a soft, creamy image, you use lenses that are soft and creamy. The sensor is only going to capture what you give it. And this is the exact case with all Makey full frame lenses. It's all about the glass that you put in front of the sensor. This lens comes in a wide range of camera mounts including PL, EF, RF, E, L, and Z mounts, which can be used on a wide range of cameras, including all full frame, mirrorless, Super 35, and ASPC size sensors. This lens is built like the rest of the full frame series. It's incredibly durable and has an excellent heavy duty build quality, coming in at 2.4 pounds. If you guys are liking my review video, please be sure to subscribe to Makey's channel to get notified of their latest videos and product updates. Lens features. This lens features vibrant, easy to use neon focus and iris markings. This makes it easy to see your focal length and iris in any lighting condition. The lens has industry standard 0.8 pitch gears for manual and remote follow focus rigs. What I love about this series of full frame cine primes, you can easily do lens swaps on your camera rig without having to worry about repositioning your follow focus because it's a true matching set. The focus and iris gearings are in the exact same spot throughout the entire series. It has an 82mm front filter thread for screw-on filters and a front diameter of 85mm. Pulling focus manually is extremely smooth with a nice amount of soft drag to perfectly dial in your focus and this lens has a 330 degrees focus throw. The minimum focus distance on this lens is 11.8 inches and is great for wide angle close up shots without distortion. In this example I'm doing a rack focus from infinity to the lens's minimum focus distance. In my tests I found that the minimum focus distance is actually even less than advertised at around 5 to 6 inches, which was quite surprising on how close I could actually get to the subject. In this product shoot I was filming at the minimum focus distance possible on a camera dolly with parallax to showcase the product features in detail while still getting a nice object separation with a soft bokeh background. The aperture is declicked like any cinema grade lens and has a bit of a harder drag when rotating which prevents you from accidentally bumping the aperture gears when shooting handheld or on a shoulder rig. Now moving on to the bokeh. The bokeh on this lens leans more towards a vintage than modern look, which I really enjoy. The 11 iris blades form a circular round and creamy oval bokeh all the way through the T-stop range down to T11 without it creating sharp edged bokeh that you see on other cine lenses. In my opinion, this is a very pleasing look. In this example, I'm wide open at T2.1 and then slowly stopping down to T22. And if you pay attention to the circular bokeh, it stays soft throughout the entire iris range. In this daylight test, I'm filming a bunch of adorable huskies and I'm shooting nearly wide open at T2.4 with an ND64 in front of the glass, which is probably why you're seeing some of that cold color cast. That wasn't supposed to rhyme. These examples showcase the soft, creamy, swirly bokeh that creates a clean object separation with a nice focus fall off into the background behind the doggos. If you look down at the blades of grass, you can really see how incredibly sharp the lens is. However, when shooting unpredictable movement like dogs, for example, pulling focus wide open at T2.4 can be difficult without a dedicated focus puller or a first AC. Pairing this lens with DJI's LiDAR rangefinder focusing system on an RS3 Pro gimbal would be the ideal autofocus solution. Lens flares. 
The flares on this lens are minimal and well controlled. They generate a good amount of veiling glare across the entire frame, which lowers the overall contrast of the image. In this example, we can see a warm veiling glare coming from the sun behind the talent, with some secondary pink flares near her head and turquoise flares in the corners of the frame. The flares are not overwhelming and add to the warmth of the overall image without taking away from the scene. In this example, as we pan across the Audi headlights, you can see a soft primary pink veiling glare with turquoise secondary flares and a few curved rainbow flares out to the edges. Now let's move on to focus breathing. This lens performs really well with very little focus breathing for a 24mm and it's barely noticeable when pulling focus between two objects. The focus pull is smooth and looks natural. Now let's look at color rendition. This lens generates nice, natural skin tones with a bit of a warmer color on the mid-range, which is another classic characteristic you normally see with vintage lenses. In this shot, you can see some test footage with zero color grading with a custom flat color profile right out of the camera to give you an idea of the color. I really like that this lens creates a very pleasing, organic looking image straight out of the camera. If you're looking for a full frame cine lens that has all of the features of a high-end cine prime without the high-end price tag, then this is the lens for you. If you own a Makey lens or have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to help you out. Follow Makey for their new lens releases and you can follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes to show you how I do what I do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.